Body and voice, Danny Cook. We are not attracted to beauty. It is the reality that draws us the pain of becoming. We strive for perfection, knowing that it does not reside in us. Some impossible expectation we have no hope of accomplishing, but we use it to judge our successes. How much would you ask of me? Are not my sweat and tears enough? Or must you have the all of me, the inside of my veins, the blue and the red, the coming and going, life and breath, source of my death internally? Is that what you need to feel me? Appreciate me, because I swear I've given you everything and you continue to ask for more. Claw at my door as if knocking would somehow be inappropriate. Like continual access to my thoughts is your right. My every trial and plight is not on display for your personal entertainment. Something to make you forget your own failings. Have you been reasonably distracted yet by my lack of love? Continued confusion in the messages I've learned about God, disapproval and disbelief in my own self-worth, recognition of my demons, self-denied exorcism. Have they not provided you an adequate escape, an existence for which you can be grateful you have not had to live? I have no apologies or promises to give. I owe you nothing. You do not know me. I promise you have seen just a glimpse because you still find me beautiful. And if your eyes had been witness to the reflection in my mirror, I swear you would know otherwise I am no swan. The lift in my neck is not that of elegance or well-deserved arrogance. Light does not reflect off me. The gleam on the water is not from my white wings. I have black feathers protruding from my shoulders and you're mesmerized by the transformation. Find it more than intriguing, something you can believe in, that we can all become what we need. And I tell you, there is no birth without the loss of life. So maybe you should be mourning because I feel like I'm dying and I can almost hear you laughing. Tragedy is comedy after all. Was that a chuckle? Are you giddy with excitement, laughing so hard you cried, come. Let me wipe that tear from your eye. I'll dry your cheeks, leave you looking rosy as if fresh from blushing. I'm glad you find me refreshing because I'm quite tired of me. Have grown weary of this walk and long to rest, no longer long to lay head on chest and breathe. I'd rather look for a reprieve, a final escape, awaiting the day I no longer have to wake and seek to provide you a break from your own existence. Hey.